a brand new application from Loop Masters, which allows you to access all your samples directly within the cloud. You can also find your sounds quickly and easily down to the advanced filtering system within the application. You can also do numerous edits to each individual samples, which we'll show you in this video. So stay tuned. Okay, so we've now launched the Loop Cloud application and when you first open it, you'll be welcomed with this browser window here. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time now just talking over the various different areas and then we're going to get into the good stuff of how to actually apply that within your DAW. So at the top here, we have the search window, which is pretty self-explanatory. Just go in there, type in search, and then it will filter out everything containing that particular search term. And if you want to click off it, you just do that. The actual searching of it and how quickly it filters all down is really, really quick. Then to the right here, we have shuffle. So basically you can organize sort of a playlist of sounds and then shuffle them all together and randomize any sounds. So you never know what you're gonna come up with. Then we have a sort of a favorite like function. So you can sort of save your favorite presets and sounds and whatnot. Then we have like the edit function, which I'll go over to in a minute. Then this one is just basically your search history. And then that's just adding any additional features to the software. And then we have our settings preferences there. Just below the search bar, we have instrument, which is all here. So basically you can then filter down what instruments you want to use. Then it's followed by genre and then labels. And what they mean by labels is the various companies that then release the sounds, if you like. Then we've got formats, which is basically distinguishing between like MP3 files, MIDI files, anything like that, depending on what you've bought. So you could see a lot more than what you're seeing there. This is purely what you get when you first download it. So essentially all these sounds are for free. So that is always a bonus. Then we've got content types. So that can have sort of construction kits where you might want one shots for drums, or you might just sort of want string sounds or something to build a sample with or anything like that. Then next to that is a key and BPM. So here you can then filter down your sounds really, really advancedly. So if you want to get something in a particular key or a particular BPM, then that is the section for you. Then to the right here, this is basically our navigation history. So what we've searched before. So if there is a particular sound that you've come across and you've forgotten where to find it, it's all going to be down here. So that is super handy as well. And it also saves various search terms as well. And at what time you did it, which is killer, because you might think, oh, half three, I definitely it was around about then. I searched for a wicked sound and I found it, but now I can't. Well, with Loop Cloud, you can. Then the bottom here, this is sort of our audio player and where the editing is going to be happening. So basically we have an audio waveform that loads at the bottom here. So I'll just play something quickly here. So that is all sounding great. And we have a little volume knob here, pause and play. And we've got connect, which basically when we've opened up our DAW, it will then automatically connect to it. So then we can start dragging and dropping various samples in there alongside actually using the BPM and other additional info from our DAW, which is again, great, super helpful. The whole point of this is maximizing your creativity so you don't get sort of lulls and you're just trying to desperately find around various samples, which is great. BPM, so you can change that. Now this X2 is basically times two, so it speeds up the sample twice, basically. So you can have it in sort of a, a normal tempo, or you can have it sort of double time. And then obviously the one next to it is just half time. So that's really handy for drums as well, in case you want a bit of a half time drum feel within your verses and then sort of speed up in the, in the chorus. And that's great for that as well. Now pattern, this is really interesting and I've never ever seen this on anything before when it's you know using audio. You can actually set it so the beginning of the sample or wherever you want to set it will basically play into a rhythm. So if I click this maybe onto snare one and then play, So that's quite handy and that's really quite a creative tool actually because you can use that within obviously any waveform which I've just showed you there. But it's really handy if you've got one shot drums and you just want to come up with a more rhythmic idea. Well, this is definitely going to give you the inspiration for that. Next up, the pitch as well. So you can put it up 12 semitones or minus semitones. Let's just play that uh, minus and up. So I'll just take that rhythm off for now. So just leave it on auto and then up. So that is amazing as well. And how quickly it processes the information is killer. It is so easy to use. So next up, I'm just going to be showing you how we can actually apply all this into our own tracks and our own sessions within our DAW. 
Okay, so now that we're familiar with the application, how it all works and where everything is, we now want to know how to utilize it within our own productions. So in order to do that, there's a little bit of setting up that we need to do. So i.e. connecting the DAW with the application so everything's working together. So what we're going to do first is open up a software instrument like I have done here. Then we're going to go down to instruments and then go down to AU instruments, loop masters, loop cloud, and then stereo. And what this basically is the receiver. So it's our point of contact, which then speaks to the application from the DAW. So just going to pop that down there and then what we need to do is open up loop cloud then click this connect button down here and that's basically going to connect it to our DAW so if I give that a click and then it should say next to it connected to Apple Logic Pro which is exactly what we want and then as soon as we start playing some tracks this BPM is then going to match our host i.e our doors BPM there as well okay so what I want to do now is actually start creating sort of a housey track so then I can just dive straight in to the advanced filtering system and I can start finding all the elements and all the sounds that I need. So first of all, let's start with the drums. So we're going to click drums. And then what we'll do is go up to genres and then go on to let's go on classic house and then let's go to content types and then we'll hit up loops. And then what we're going to do is going to start hitting play on our DAW. And then what we're going to do when we start listening to the samples, they're going to basically play in time with each other. Now this will make sense when you've got multiple layers of stuff that you've dragged over and you've put in your DAW. You can then real time audition new samples to then go in within your DAW. So let's find ourselves a drum kit. So I'm going to hit play for my DAW. Okay, so I quite like that one. So I'm going to drag this one over. I'm going to hold on my mouse. I'm going to drag it and it will start downloading. And then you simply drag it into your DAW and then just click don't import because sometimes the BPM matching can be a little bit off. It might go to sort of 119.999 BPM in Logic. So then if we play that through, there is our awesome classic house drum beat within all its glory. Now what we want to do is start having that playing through and then we want to find ourselves a bass line. So this is where it really comes into its own. So here we go. Okay, so I really like that bass sound. So what I'm going to do is go down to this little tab here where it says process because sometimes when you drag it straight from there, it doesn't necessarily always time stretch properly as you can see. So it's a little bit short there. So if that does happen, just simply it might say download high quality file, click on that, it will download the file and then it will start doing the processing to it. So then obviously we want to click the processing, drag that straight onto there and then here we are. So there is our bass line. Okay, so now what we want to do is probably try and find ourselves something just to sit on top of that. So let's hunt around for some, let's say some vocals. So what I'm going to do is clear this search tabs open at the top there for our previous search terms. I'm going to click on vocal and then we want to look for something in the key of E to match our bass line. So we're going to click on key. I'm just going to tap the note E on there. So, okay, we're only left with one, but bear in mind I'm only using the sort of free samples that are in there. So let's click on this. <laughs> Okay, so let's try and test that within our track. Now, the really cool thing about having the loop cloud come in on a MIDI channel is that we can actually process this in real time using EQs and things like that. So what I reckon, I want to try and hear that with a bit of a delay, see if that makes it sound a little bit less dry. So I'm going to add the Fab Filter Timeless 2, and then I'm just going to turn that down slightly, and then let's have a listen. Okay, cool. So I'm really loving that. So what I'm going to do is download the high quality file and then that's going to download shortly and then going to click and then we're going to click on the process, drag it into our DAW and there is our sound. Okay, so another cool feature which I just want to touch upon quickly before we end this video is basically just importing patterns and stuff like that. So let's get ourselves a bit of a percussion thing or just a one shot. So if we go on to, let's go to content type, we'll go on to one shots, go on to instruments and let's go on drums and let's just find a one shot that we quite like. Okay, cool. So then let's try that in a pattern. So I'm going to run this through and then what I'm going to do is select through these different patterns here and we're going to see which one is going to work best.
Okay, so I quite like that snare three pattern. So then what I'm going to do is download the file, which is processed. And then what I'm going to do is then drag that onto our DAW. And then there we have it. It's already made it into that pattern. So if we play that back. Okay, great. So all in all, Loop Masters Loop Cloud is a really easy and direct way to get all your presets and your sounds all in one place so you can easily drag them into your DAW so you're not wasting any time trying to hunt around various files on your hard drive. So if you want to find out more information and give it a test for yourself, then head over to loopmasters.com and download the plugin and have a real play with it for yourself. You do get some free sounds in there, so take full advantage. So I've been Rory from Hyper Production. Thank you for watching. Watching. Yeah.